I wanted to put a title, so I hung up. Hey, Lady Shay. If you guys have any questions about your vein, go ahead and put them in the question box. We'll be happy to address your questions. He's an amazing artist, up and coming artist in the gospel industry. He's definitely making waves, definitely making a main name for himself. He came out with his first single in 2015, and this is it right here. You, you may be familiar if you're really into gospel music. And then he has 2017 album, um, Hello Dolly. Um, just really creative guy, really, really creative guy, so I'm, I'm happy. Hey, Regan Sardis! Hey, Charlotte! How are you guys doing? He just texted me. I'm glowing. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, so if you guys have any questions about anything, um, feel free to, if you have any questions towards me, he said, um, he just texted me and said he'll be here about 10.05, he's running a little bit behind, so if you guys have any questions towards me, um, you can ask, if you have any questions, you know, right for him, feel free to ask, um, where you guys... Make, you know, share this video. I think that this video will be really helpful. This video will be really, really helpful to a lot of people. Hi, Jaleesa! How you doing? Hey! This is going to be really good. So, like I said, if you have any questions, I think it's so interesting to hear from people who, um, you know, started off as musicians and then went into BGBing and then became an artist of what, what does that take? Because every level is, is a different level of responsibility. You know, the responsibility changes and in some instances it, it becomes heavier, so. So right now we're just giving a nice little intro to, to him and. Hey. We're just playing your music, Hello, Dolly. As happy as I can be, your love is a guarantee. In a world of changes, you and I together. Hi, Gospel Central. You already got a. playlist and play your music while we waited. How are you doing, kind let me, sir? Let me, let me. You're cutting in and out. Yes, sir. Put these drawings up. Hold on. I'm sorry. Yeah, sometimes those Bluetooth earphones don't work. I don't know why. With with live stuff, I don't know why. Sometimes they mess up. Oh, good. Oh, good. What's up with you? How are you doing, kind sir? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm staying on the free. I know you. I know you don't know me at all. Uh, my name is Delisa. I want to thank you so much for being here. Man, listen, no, I, I thank you for even, even allowing me to be on your platform, you know what I mean? Like, I think this is super, super dope, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, I, I had to do it. Like, all right, well, let's do it. I'm with it, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't, I'm with it, you know? You didn't even think twice. That is so sweet nah. of you. Thank you so much. I, what I do with these conversations is, you know, I really like to get into the mind of an artist 
and right. like see what their journey was and what their journey continues to be because there's so many as a vocal teacher there's just so many um aspiring artists that don't really understand kind of it looks like people became a you know overnight sensation but really their journey is like 20 30 years right. in the making and right, so right. you know i love really kind of digging deep and into what makes you who you are so i want to say thank you so much for being here um so let's so, so one thing i noticed about uh, your singing if we could just jump right in I, I'm, I'm gonna probably work a little bit backwards but right. um i want you to talk to us about your artistic intention because what i gather from listening to your music is that you're a church kid you grew mm -hmm. up in church and you're like hey man i don't care what you heard you need to be in church that's where it's right. at that's where you're gonna get saved that's where all the answers right. are i ain't about right. all this relationship y'all need to be in church and hear a preacher and that's where yeah. it's at so yeah, yeah so even when i hear you like you seems like this declaration like and i love how everybody if you can go back to their very first single it's like they try to fit everything about themselves in that one song just in case it never happens right <laughs> right 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 yeah um you know me i'm like i'm real intentional on on, on just you know bringing whatever God gave me, what Jesus Christ gave me, just bring it out to the forefront. You know what I mean? And um, and th that's just that's just me. You know what I mean? Like, it, I don't really, there's no other way of going about it. There's no other way of going about it. You know what I mean? So it's just like, it's real simple. I think we make, I think a lot of people, a lot of times we make Christ complex a lot. You know what I mean? And try to be deep and, you know, try to, try to, you know, um, make stuff that's black and white, gray, you know what I mean? And, you know, I'm just real, I, 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 and again, let me say this, I'm not perfect. I ain't never claimed to be perfect. That ain't me at all. But just because I'm not perfect, I mean, I stay in an imperfect state. You know what I mean? Singing just get me places. Singing just get me to talking. And you know, I know I'm not what I'm called to do, you know what I mean? And, you know, singing just, singing and comedy just get me places. Okay. You know what I mean? So what do you what do you feel is your end goal? Is your end calling? This that, that singing and comedy is the vehicle to this. 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 Oh wow. Me talking. You know what I'm saying? You know, that. you know, like it that's what I'm saying. So stuff like this, I don't really like, you know, I don't take I don't take um stuff like this for granted, you know what I mean? Because, you know, a lot of people don't really see me do like a lot of talking for for, you know, like on a serious side, like and you know, it's like for me. It's not. It's not for me to be like to broadcast scriptures. Or da -da -da -da. It's not for me to do. That's not my calling yet. You know what I mean? That's not not yet. You know what I mean? I do a lot more behind the scenes stuff. Like you know what I mean? Like I would never post on a camera of like people I talk to on a personal level and minister to on a personal level. You know what I mean? So you know the comedy is what the comedy and the singing is what you know you know gets people attention. Okay. Oh, he's funny. Let me follow. Oh, he can sing. Let me follow. And then you go on my page, and you and you, you get to see stuff like this. It's like, oh, dad, like, oh, you can be a jokester and still be serious for Christ. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I don't have to doze and thou you all day. You know what I mean? I don't got to mm -hmm. the Bible says this, the Bible says this. Keep putting up scriptures every day, you know, which is nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. But that's just not me. So, you know, um, I don't know how you, you got attention to me, but, but, the singing, it worked because now we're talking now. You feel ah, what I'm saying? Man. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it's all about, for me, I just, I just follow what my assignment is. I follow what my assignment. My assignment ain't nobody else's assignment. Ain't nobody else's assignment, but it's my assignment. So, you know, I know, I know what I'm called to do. And I walk boldly in that. You know what I mean? I, I walk boldly in who I am and I walk boldly in what my assignment is. So, so in my music. So, so ex explicitly tell us what is your assignment? What are you doing? What what do you um, feel like God has put you on this earth to do? You know, I'm an independent artist, right? And you know, I'm independent from the mud. You feel me? Like I ain't know I was signed before and got a and got and had a song come out and then, you know, I just decided to go independent. Like I'm straight from the basement and straight to your faces. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, I, a lot of times a lot of people hit me up, ask me, excuse me, how did you get to where you at? You know what I mean? I'm grateful that 
I was able to be on two number one Billboard songs this year. And, you know, all my songs went top 10. I got six singles out. All my songs went top 10. And everybody asked me, you're independent. And, you know, if you're in gospel music, it's hard to get those type of numbers in gospel music. And so a lot of people ask me, like, how did you do this? And how do you do this? Well, how should I go about this? And a lot of times we start, we have like an hour conversation, not just about how to get the, the business side, but also ministering on the same token. Like, yo, like, you need to put Jesus Christ first in your life. Like, I only got here because I served and I chose to put Jesus Christ first. And they'd be like, what? Like, we don't even talk about music business for real. I can tell you about the music business, but that ain't going to get you nowhere. For, for, I, I can tell you about it. Like, you can get your paperwork and stuff. Like, get your LLC. Get your, get your you know what I mean, uh, different stuff like that. But but when it comes down to it, like, if, you, uh, if you're talking to me, I'm, I'm going to give you, like, the, the Bible way, like, the, that way of going by it as an independent, you know what I mean, um, gospel artist. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's how I come about it. And so that's what really my my, my what my assignment what are, is. It's like, it's so like let really me ask you this: What artists. are the scriptures? What are the scriptures that guide you? Um, uh, Matthew six. Uh, <laughs> Matthew six. Uh, that's that the beatitude, right? But seek ye first. But, but but seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Um, pro, uh, Proverbs. That uh, is the Proverbs. Um, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and might, and lean not to your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your path. Right. And but in Bible verse that we always grew up on in Sunday school, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me, right? And so, thanks, Lisa, 633, Matthew 633. So, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me, right? So, the key word in that scripture is through. In order to go through something, it has to be in front of you. You feel what I'm saying? And so, and what I did was I take, I can do all things, right? I take that out. I leave a blank sign. I leave, leave a blank line right there, and I tell everybody, put whatever, put whatever you want there. Like I want to be an accountant through Christ that strengthens me. I want to be whatever through Christ that strengthens me. And you have that channel, it'll work. So that's the, those things right there. Like keep like you know, putting me um like 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 putting Christ first is how I got to where I'm at. You know what I mean? You um, know you know, and that's that's just where I'm at with it. Yeah, I think that's the amazing paradox of of Jesus Christ is that it's so um, anti, what's, there's a word I'm looking for. It's not, oh, uh, there's a word, there's a word for it, but it doesn't feel natural. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's like, why would I do that? And so what I found is whenever I've asked the Lord to increase me or, right. or give me a strategy, his strategy will be, I want you to serve. I want you to be in church. I want you to give something away. And you're right. just like, you know what I'm saying? That can't be it. Like everybody else that's made it is has made it because of whatever, whatever. But I have found that when you make your foundation the work of Christ and staying yeah. in the word and serving at church. But you know, that's what we call to do anyway. As Christians, as Christian, you call to serve anyway. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like Jesus Christ said, I didn't come for the righteous. I came to draw sinners to repentance. And he served. Like Jesus Christ served us, right? So and, and, what's What's so crazy about it is that, you know, a lot of times people overlook the servants. And so, right, especially in, in, in this day and age, serv servants and servers are overlooked because, you know, it, it, it's not popular to be a, 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 a servant. It's not, if servants don't get, um, don't get reposted and pictures taken of them, you know what I mean? So, you know, and so what's crazy is I, I, I tell this story all the time things right about serving right that, that God honors right so I got an Apple watch right so I got an Apple watch and on the Apple watch it's um you know you got your uh you can set your um you can set your daily goals like what you want to do you want to do um uh how many uh breath intakes you take how many walks you to take a day and you know how many calories you lost so you set a goal right you set a goal you want to lose 300 350 calories you want to take a thousand steps a day you set that goal for the day and your rings fill up right so I was playing basketball one time, right? I was playing basketball. I played basketball for like three hours. I had my Apple Watch on. And all my rings didn't full up. I mean, I'm running up and down the court, and all my rings did not full up. I played for three hours straight, and all my rings didn't full up. I led praise and worship. I served. I led praise and worship for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. I praise and worship for 15 minutes. All my rings exceeded each other 200%. 
I looked down on my watch. It said, you have reached your goal over 200%, right? What am I saying? You serve. You set a goal, right? Serve, receive double. You set a goal. <laughs> you serve and receive double. That's why God honors servants. Um, I did construction. They say, they say um, that the wear and tear ministry serving puts on your body is eight times that of a construction worker. I did construction, right? I did construction for three, for three summers. I never had gray hair. I did ministry for five years. I did ministry for five years. I got gray hair right here. My hairline, I just grew my hair back so, you know, I can brush my jaw down so my hairline cool now. But when I low cut my hair, cut my hairline was terrible. You feel what I'm saying? Like, all because of ministry. You know what I mean? It wears and tears in your body. And another thing was, uh, how, how, how I viewed serving was, it was, um, me and my fiance, we went to um, uh, Vegas, Stellar Wars in Vegas. He was in Vegas and all that, right? And, you know, I always wanted to go see the, um, what's that, the Hoover Dam. It's a, it's, a, it's a big old dam, you know what I'm saying? It's all that, right? So on the, on the way there is the landscape is dope. You know, I mean, like a postcard, right? It's dope, right? So we driving and we see rocks, right? So in my mind, I'm like, look at all these rocks. It's mountains. It's mountains, right? Out of these mountains, you see random poles coming out of rocks. You know what I'm saying? You see random poles just come out of random rocks, mm -hmm. right? Don't know what it is. You keep driving up. You see wires coming from one side of a mountain to another side of a mountain. It's just regular. It's, it's, not, it's just wires coming from a mountain to another mountain, right? I'm like, what is these poles and mountains doing? It's random, right? We get, we park up. We, everybody rushing to the Hoover Dam. It's a beautiful thing, right? Then it hit me. The poles and the wires is what make the Hoover Dam run. Ah. Nobody rushed to take a picture with the pole. Nobody's rushing to take a picture with the wires. Everybody's rushing to take a picture with the Hoover Dam. Mm -hmm. Not knowing that these poles and wires is what helped this Hoover Dam run. Beautiful. You feel me? And that's and, and that's and that's and that's a servant, you know what I mean? And, and a lot of people don't want to have that. And so, for me, I got a church back in Philly, a New Harvest Kingdom Ministries, right? Five, like five, six years ago, I started serving there, right? I started serving there. It's about 15 old people in there. They all like 65. Everybody, everybody, AARP. I mean, everybody's, but they have church in there, right? They have church. 60, there's like 15 people in there, 65 people, the pastor in there gives good word in there, right? I chose to just play keys there. He was giving us fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. I mean, I and to the point I was like, man, you keep fifty dollars. It's cool. I'm cool. Fifty dollars. And every time I served there and I return my tithing there, a door opens. Wow. Three times. It never never fails. Like I start singing I, I start playing there, I start singing with tithes. Then after that, after that, I started um I put out you and then it went with how it did and then all my songs go top ten. All because all because I serve at this, and I can go to any church. Like I get offered to go to any church, I can get top dollar anywhere. Like I mean, get paid for all that, get top dollar all that, right? But that church and a church back at home called Ezekiel, I play, and I do get paid at Ezekiel, right? I play keys there, right? But here's the thing, I'm not the boss, I'm not the MD there, mm -hmm. right? And here's another funny story. I told you I talk. I, you gonna get this whole hour of talking? I'm telling that now. <laughs> I talk. I'm long-winded. I'm letting you know right now, if I ever become a preacher, I'm going to be very long-winded. I'm letting y'all know that now. If I ever become a preacher and I come to your church, I'm going to be real long-winded. So, so, right, so I'm at, I'm at my, um, I'm at my church, right? And before, I'm, I've been in this church about, about 15 years. I was in college. I was playing there and all that. And, you know, I'm grandfathered in. You know what I mean? Like, I can do what I want there, basically. If I got to leave, I got to leave. You know what I mean? Like, if I, if, I got, if I go on a road, I got to go on a road. And they don't really say nothing to me. Like, I do what I want. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm gracious. I, they gave me grace to do whatever I want there, right? So, a new MD came about three years ago. And I'm like, man, I'm grandfathered in. Like, so, the church, you know, What do you mean um, you grandfathered in? Tell me what that means. Grandfathered in, like, I can really do what I'm like. It's not, not really much you can really say to me there. You know okay. what I mean? Like it's like I 
If I don't so want to come like new management, there was new pastors. It was but you new management. There. New management. I'm already there. Like okay, got it. Uh huh. Like uh -huh. so, cool. So, so we um, we in there, and he come in. He said, at first, I never had to go to rehearsal because like it's the band. It's the band rehearsal, right? So. There's no point in having a band rehearsal because the choir need more help than the band. Just, just give me the songs. I'm going to learn it at home. I'll come and play it. It's fine. Like, mm -hmm. that's, that's how I've been doing for years. He came in. He said, I need the band at rehearsal. I'm like, I'm not coming to rehearsal. That's a waste of time. I'm not doing it. He said, you need, I need you, need you to come to rehearsal. So I didn't come. He <laughs> then said, hey, yo, if you don't come to rehearsal, I'm going to fire you. I got to let you go. I said, what? And this, and this is what I told him. I said, what? You can't. Who are you? You can't fire me. Who are you? Mm-hmm. Can't fire me. I'm, what man, boy, bye. We, and we had words. I came home. I mean, as soon as I got to my room, God checked me from the rip. Take me from the rip. He said, "Yo, who are you?" He said, "I don't need you." He said, "You hype? Are you think you decent because you got songs on the radio? I can take that from you. Mm -hmm. You know." He was like, "You know how you got here, right? It's from serving, not doing nothing right or saying." You, I, I can snatch on it from you, and then you'd be looking at somebody else with your blessing. Mm. Like, what? Boy, you better stop playing. I had to call. I had to call John and, and my pastor. You know what? You right. I'm wrong. I'll come to rehearsal. Humble. And we've been, we've been cool ever since. Them churches keep me humble. Them churches, them churches keep me humble, like, for real. Like, because, like, they don't really care about Dolly. They care about Jermaine. They don't care about Dolly. If I go anywhere else, I'm like, Dolly, 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 oh my God, Dolly. He goes to your head. I'm, I'm full of myself. I'm telling you, I'm, I got it. I'm still, Lord's still working on me. I think I'm decent. I don't need y'all to think I'm decent, and I think I'm decent too. You know what I mean? So I need people like that when I'm back at home. Like, we don't care nothing about how decent you think you are. You mean like, you know, like, you need to humble yourself. That's my pastor. Humble yourself. That's the same as my pastor. I think I have maybe, on a good day, 30 people at my church. Yeah on a good day and they don't care nothing about Delisa online they don't care nothing about none of that nothing nothing they're like you need to humble down yeah are you, and they check. Are you fasting are you coming yeah. are you coming are you right. coming to all night prayer are right you coming to right Holy right right. <laughs> right for real like so i mean I, that's how that's how that's what serving does i think a lot of us especially in our in, in our generation of, uh, of people that's out there right now, you know, I think we really have to go back to serving. You know, I don't think people really know the importance of serving. You know what I mean? Or even just serving like like your community or whatever. It's, yeah, it's a it beautiful goes, thing to be around. If it goes wrong way. It's, it's saying something and I'm saying, and I just wanted to respond and say, it's a beautiful thing to be around people that really couldn't care less about how gifted you are. Couldn't care less yeah. about who you shared the stage with. They're like, oh, that's fine. So, you know what I mean? Anyway. You know, right. and then they'll bring up something that they know you've been struggling with spiritually. So how's that going? And you're like, right, oh, right, 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 yeah, right, 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 for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. So what was what was that transition like? Was it okay? So what I noticed is on your 2017 record, you did a lot of the production yourself. Like you produced it and you played on it. So right. how was that? different the same or whatever from singing bgbs for ty trivet like what kind of um responsibility was that did you feel pressure were you really it was a lot it was a lot of responsibility because first of all i thought y'all should have told me when i first came out like when i first first started like doing like something like oh i'm singing with ty like it's lit it's easy like it's gonna be lit like i mean like, I, I came from like you know you know, we on BET, we in the Bahamas, we in Africa, like we on these big old stages, like sold out venues, right? And so I, I, I started doing my own thing, right? I'm thinking, man, people know me from Single with Time, and people didn't know who I was, man. So I was getting booked. It'd be like ten people there. Um, the 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 band stuff would be terrible, right? And I know how to run. I I learned I learned how to run a sound check by being with Ty. And so when I got in front and I'm starting, so now I don't have no background thing. It's just me and a band. Sometimes it's me and a track and a mic stand. I'm like, I got to work this whole stage. Yeah. Oh. And, the sta and the stage be 50 feet Oh, long. Listen here. I was terrible. Beautiful was, edifice. And it's just you. I was terrible. I had to learn. I had to learn. I had to learn. I had to learn. And, um, and the reason why I produced a lot of my stuff and I 
played my stuff. I, I had some hope playing like for some stuff too, but out of it was because I ain't had no money to pay nobody. So <laughs> other than that, other than that, I'm playing I'm playing this myself. Like, you know what I mean? And the money that I did have to pay people I honestly I just finished paying people off like last year. Like, oh, like last five year. years ago. Uh, no, we'll talk. Like I just got finished paying people off. Like, like. Oh my gosh! When I tell you we independent, are we independent? Like, you I mean now, now? But the fact I that you people in. even did did a record with you on an IOU says a lot about your character. That says a yeah. lot about how, what they, you know, how they. Yeah, feel. Man, I'm, but they got paid. They got paid. But they let me say this storm. as well: in the, a lot of independent artists screw a lot of people over with that yeah. high. Oh man, I'm gonna pay you later. I'm gonna pay you yeah. later. Yeah. They give up. They give up on yeah. their when they realize how hard it is, and nobody gets yes. paid. Yes. So now, like, if if I if I book you and come to the studio, I can pay you on the spot now. Like, God hey. is good now. Like, God is God is amazing. Okay, we we good now. Crazy. But then you know, I just like I just I just stopped. So that's why I, I it says like a lot of production on me and all that. And I write, you know, that's I just like I just like my style of writing for right now. I don't, I don't yeah. not, not to say that nobody else can't write for me and all that but like i just like so I, now on my new album coming out like next year i got a few people in mind you know um i got uh kj scriven he working on something for me um he got some real real dope like kj got some real real dope for me and um you know um got some other fee i got features coming too the uh, the, the 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 next album gonna be called assignment before accolades no you know okay. assignment assignment before accolades so next time i'm gonna have some more producers but before at least i only had it was only me and writing and producing it was because I ain't have a money to pay nobody. I honestly think that I honestly think that was amazing that people were willing to work for you even though they knew you couldn't pay them. And I think it's even more amazing that you were a man of your word and no matter how much time passed, you didn't just act like you didn't owe them money anymore and you actually yeah. and that's a huge lesson in integrity that so yeah. many people need to people are so willing to walk around and they know they owe people and they just uh, act like it never happened. And that is horrible. So, terrible. Terrible. And, and I heard a story, so I I ain't wanna I ain't wanna be that type of boy either. So I was like, yo, I, I used to always randomly text my yo, I got you, yo. I I ain't forget. I did not I love forget. It. I, I ain't forget. It. I got you. That so when I finally so had it, like I mean, I just finally just pay people off. Like, boom, boom, you done, done. I write a check off, boom, 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 and it was cool. So vocal inspirations, vocal inspirations. I hear, I hear a, I hear a point of view. What are your vocal inspirations? Um, Donny Hathaway is my favorite singer. Donny Hathaway, Maxwell, um, Daryl Coley, Vanessa Bell Armstrong, James Moore. Mm. Um, uh, uh, um, so when you were singing you yeah. who were you channeling I always had a falsetto right I, I, it's like Marvin Gaye feel like Curtis Mayfield like, 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 like those type of like just swaggy old heads that really really just you know what I mean just had a nice falsetto but it was just killing just swaggy you know what I mean yeah. and so, so so that's that's really where it came from like for for real Okay, are you the type of person to sing on the spot? No. No? No. So if I asked you to sing your favorite Marvin Gaye song, you wouldn't do it? Mm-mm. 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 I, I'm telling you, uh, is, is Nate still on here? Nate, if, if my fiance is on, she, uh, she will tell you. I hate, I never do, I never do mic tosses. Like, mic <laughs> tosses and all that. What? Like, if I'm, if I'm at a church, right, and they got a song, like, it's like a vamp on a song and all that, it'd be like, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hey, man, come on, Dolly. I, I tell, ask name right there. Name my line. I say no every time. <laughs> that is not me. Like, I'm, yo, I, I'm a, listen, any run I do on stage, it be practice at home first. Nothing, um, I'm, I'm going to tell you my secret. Everything I do on stage, yo, I know I'm going to do it. And I rehearsed it all week. Oh my God! <laughs> all week, all I, I will leave. I I purposely come to churches and we sit in the back, and they be like, they be like, come to the front, come to the front. I be like, no, cause I know what y'all gonna do. So y'all get to a little vamp part, and be like, oh Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hey, come on, Dolly. Nah. Late in the midnight hour, oh. God, oh. turn it around. <laughs> 
here's my thing. If I'm, if I'm going to do it, if I'm going to do like the vamp part, I'm not going to do it the traditional way. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it. My, I'm going to be like, put your hands up. Y'all, yeah. Like that. Like, and they're going to be like, what? Like, like it, especially, if, I, especially if the Holy Ghost is high, like if it's like really, really high, if it's like really, really high, yeah, they got like a, like, now, now the songs in a now I will say this I have gotten better. If the songs in a major key, I'll do it. Like I, I'll I'll do it now. Like, if it's in a major key, but if it was in a minor key, it was in a it was in a minor key. Man, that ooh, uh, that stuff like that. Oh, God is uh, Nizzy is not going down. Like it is not going down. Major key, yeah. Kurt, Kurt. This is the only time I did it. Kurt Franklin came to Philly. Kurt said, yo, Dolly, I want you to sing. I said, huh? <laughs> he said, he said, God. he said, yo, I need you to sing this. I didn't know the song from Mechanic Pain. I didn't know the song. He in the sea, he in the sea for me. Yeah, uh -huh. Always look. Mm -hmm. What? He had me singing that part. He feeding me a nose. I, my heart is racing. You got a kettle going off. You got somebody to attend to the kettle? Yeah, like it's it's okay. uh it's it, my tea. I heard you wanted me to sing, so I got my tea right. I'm playing like, but no, like, but no, like it was it was like I'm I'm sweating, but I didn't look, I didn't look at the crowd. I looked at Kurt the whole time. People, I I, I don't see other you couldn't videos. Even what I, I couldn't even get swaggy. I couldn't even be swaggy on him. I, I looked at Kurt the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I he hope I didn't blank seeds. <laughs> For me, I'm looking at Kurt the whole time, right? <laughs> I mean, I done seen everybody else sing the song, right? Like, uh, in they cities. I mean, they never, ooh, uh, 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 uh. I mean, <laughs> the car, like, just like, hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Why, are you, why was that hallelujah. run so Aaron? Um, what's his name? Aaron? So, what's that oh, 90s? What is that 90s R&B singer? Aaron? Oh, Aaron Hall. Why Aaron Hall. was that oh, oh, Aaron Hall? Oh, 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 oh. What? They was in there killing me? I sang the song straight. I didn't do, no, I mean, everybody was like, I'm like, he intercedes for me, always provide he, something, something, something. He intercedes for me. Who? I said, oh. I said, I don't know what I did, but I got, I sang my part and got out of there. And then Jasmine Sullivan sang after me and she smashed. Jasmine oh. Sullivan sang after me. She, she smashed. She smashed, man. He's mad. But Is that I, I you want to get good at, or you've just kind nah, of made peace. I'm like, me. I'm, I'm just. Not, I'm just. I'm, I'm just me. I ain't trying to be nothing up. Now I'm God. Now I, I will say I'm getting better at, you know, like some of the stuff. Like, it, like some of them songs are like wordy. Like like you got to be like no. Really, like, Kurt Franklin songs are very wordy. You mean like if people actually like do like ad libs and like that? Like, people keep like recite stuff like. And the God of the heavens and the earth and and they be saying like some good stuff. Uh, my bills been paid and they not it, it come faster than like fast. It, it, I, plus I stutter too. I you stutter. don't stutter. You have not stuttered yet. See, I'm, I see. Uh, let me get a um like, like an L word or a W word or can I like can I or let me like I almost did it just now. I caught myself. You didn't catch it. You're not catching it. <laughs> if I say like let me get a or something like that. It's bad. I stutter bad. So I, my mind be stuttering when like when songs come up and I got an ad lib, my mind does not be getting the stuff out. So I don't trust it. I'm not going to have me up there stuck on stage like, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Oh, I guess we won't be hearing you sing this evening, man of God. Well, I might. I might. I got you. I might. I might. I might. I, might. I like that Aaron Hall run. It, see, I, I got I got a whole bunch of Aaron Hall runs. I got them. Give me an Aaron Hall run. Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Word up. Word up. All right. So talk to me about what what really caught my attention. I have heard I've heard of you over the years, but I think what really caught my attention was your COVID special. You did I can't call it a COVID special, but you did a live concert. <laughs> And it right, happened right. to be this year, and right. it was a mix of R and B music and gospel music. You had you had like a myriad of artists. Your BGVs were ridiculous. The whole set was amazing. First of all, how long did it take for you to put that together? What was it like asking people, "Hey, you want to sing with me on this video, straight to video concert thingy I'm doing"? Like, what was that like? 
I didn't have a concert. It wasn't me. I I I didn't have a concert. I, I never had, I never had one. Maybe you speak into existence though. I never had a concert though. And maybe maybe it was a gig I had. I don't. I, I never had a concert. I never I'm had a concert. Am I talking to the wrong person? Because that's gonna be really embarrassing. Yeah, I'm. I, I'm. I'm. I never had a concert. No. I mean, you talking to the right person. You said you and Surf and all that. You you talking to the right person. Thing with Ty, you talking to the right person. I just never had a concert. That's all. I, I never had a concert though. Okay, well then I'm embarrassed because I really. But you good? You fine? You fine? I, I I didn't know if I wanted to lie or not, but because May on here, my fiance on here, she would call me a liar, <laughs> and, and I, I didn't I didn't want to do that. I I would have went with you. I'm I gonna check to... now because now I'm like, who else could it be? Like it had to be you. <laughs> It wasn't me. No, no, it wasn't me. At you didn't all. No, have no. you didn't have any live concerts during COVID. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't have no live concerts. Now, have I sang on stuff? Yeah, but I. It, it wasn't me. I was gonna go with you, but Nay on here. Nay, I, I don't be calling liar tonight. <laughs> oh I'd have been like, yeah. God. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, yes, I did. Yeah, uh, I had a lot of people on there with me. I, I was gonna go with you. Oh my God, you were gonna go with me, but then you realized you couldn't. <laughs> I, I could. I'm sorry. I, I leave. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. But I'm I apologize. Sorry. I could. Are you good? He said. He said if I could have gotten away with it, <laughs> people are cracking up. Yeah. Oh my god! Then I need to look and see who that was because I could have sworn it was you. I was going to talk. All good. About All good. Uh, but, 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 it, so let's talk about because... this dream collaborations. Dream collaborations. Um, Emily King. Who um, it? Emily King. She's a um. She's super dope. Check her out. Her name Emily King. Check her out. She's yeah. super. She's super duper what dope. Makes that's somebody you would want to collaborate with. Yeah, Emily King. That should be somebody I would want to collaborate. with, Emily King. Um, somebody else... said, "Am I confusing you with Jermaine Jackson?" No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like Emily King. Emily King. She's uh, she's really like one of the ones I really would love um, to do some some with her. But Emily, Emily King. I would love to do something with her. Emily King. You yeah. think she just has, is, is it her voice? Is it her her vibe? Her voice, her vibe, everything is just so dope. She just she's just so decent. She, uh, check her out. Check out her name is yeah. Emily K. I'm check her out. Her. I'm gonna follow her. She got she, she got some dope. Who are some, some dope. of your who are some of your collaborations that um have kind of like blown your mind? Um, the ones I've done or just in general. Yeah, the ones you've done. Like, who are some collaborations that, like, have you had any dream collaborations? Because that's really what I was leading into when I mentioned that. But what are some dream collaborations that have actually happened for you? Um, not None yet. But I, I, how about this? A, a life-changing one was um, Leslie Odom Jr. Yeah. Leslie, so talk to Leslie, me about him. Leslie Odom Jr., he's, um, if you don't know who he is, you know, uh, he did Hamilton. Yeah. He was the, uh, he was the black guy in Hamilton. And um, and what happened was, uh, he was on BET singing one time. It was BET singing on BET Honors, and mm -hmm. and um, he was uh, I was like, who is this guy singing? He's dope. Like he's really, Hold really on. dope. First like, of all, it wasn't PJ Morton and it wasn't Molly. I don't know who it was, but it wasn't those people. <laughs> people are like trying to suggest, like, who could it be that had a live concert? No, it wasn't it's all them. Good. I would not confuse him with per, with PJ Morton. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. No, but um, but we was uh he was uh, on the TV, and I was like, "Who's this guy?" So I checked him out and all that. And when I had checked him out, he um, uh, he followed me like like a month later. You know what I mean? He um, I was like, "Yo, who's this guy?" Like, he, oh, he followed me. That's what's up. And so then. Like, so we started following each other and all that, and um, like a year later, he um invited me to his concert in Philly, and uh, we uh, me and my fiance we went there and all that, and he invited us to the back. So he was like, "Hey man, I'm a fan of your work, man. I love your stuff, man. Everything you do, I think you're a genius at what you do. Boom, boom, boom. And I want you to come work on my album." And I was like, "Man, he lying. Like, this way down, like whatever." Wow. And so. He um he, he got my number and all that and like about three months later, he said, "Yo, I'm gonna fly you out to San Francisco, fly to, um fly you to um San Francisco and and uh and we're gonna work on the album." So he had like twenty. It was like a writers camp. He had like twenty other artists, like twenty other writers there. And I was shook out of my mind because I never wrote outside of like gospel music and this is like jazz like type of music, right? But he's like the, the theme of the album was. Uh, what would big bands sound like in three in the year three thousand? 
And so he just, he wanted to fuse like big band and gospel and rap and reggae. He wanted to fuse all these things together on the big band umbrella. So, you know, we had, so we, we had a, we had a uh, intro dinner and it's people there that wrote for like Michael Jackson, Mary J. Blige and um, uh, Kesha. And it's like so many, mm-hmm. like, and I'm just right. I wrote my stuff. And, um, you know, we had split up in groups the next day. And, and so he told, he told everybody about me. Cause everybody can ask, oh, you're Jermaine. I'm like, yo. So that's a lot of pressure now, right? <laughs> so, so there's a writer's camp, actually. So everybody's fighting to get on this album, right? So. Um, you said everybody's have... fighting to get on the album. Yeah. Cause so everybody's were you guys camp. collaborating or were you in separate rooms? Both? It's like groups. It's different groups. So everybody is trying to come together and make up a song, whatever case they be. So we in there and I'm in this one group and the one group had this song one group had this song and it was like shit, they all did before I, I played the background now, me how I write songs and all that I come up with a medley first and then I put the words in there because I think like once you get a medley people gonna remember a medley before they remember the words like it's people to this day that be like dum, 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 dum. they don't know the words what I'm saying but they just say dum 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 they just stay right there right so because they remember a medley not the words so I'm chilling I'm just playing the background whatever. so some girl she was like, I got this song. We got this song called Petty. We're going to make this song called Petty. So it was like, hum, sum, sum, like, yeah. And then the sum, 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 like, yeah. And then like, Petty, 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 Petty. <laughs> terrible. Right? I knew it was ter- terrible. So Leslie come in the room. Leslie's like, hey, hey um. <laughs> <laughs> sing it again. I'm sorry. Sing, sing he was like, and then I'm like, yeah. I done something, something, and I'm like, yeah, I done like petty, 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 petty. Now, it could work somewhere because, you know, like, it's a catchy, it's catchy, right? But I'm, no. So, Leslie, so now I know, I know BS talk, right? Mm-hmm. I know it because I do it a lot. <laughs> oh my God. So, Leslie was like, Leslie was like, he was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm looking at him like, I'm about to go down the flames. He then said, let's go, let's go demo it. I'm like, so we get in front of the mics and all that. We about to sing the song. We were singing a song. I see his manager in the A room. Mm-hmm. Right? His manager in the A room. And so we sing a song. We were referencing a song. He like, what the bleep is this? I see his mouth. He said, what the bleep is this? I said, oh my God. I said, I'm always always was bad with, with, with group so projects he didn't, anyway. He didn't want to be the one to shut her down. He wanted what? his managers what? and everybody else to be the one it, to shut It wasn't just her. Down. Since we were a group, it's everybody. So my name on this, everybody's on this. Like, uh-huh. I said, you know what? I'm done with the group project. I'm about to go sit behind this piano and I'm going to just do me. So I had a tune. Like, this is December of like 2018. I had, I had a tune. I had a tune. And, and my um and uh, I was working on like in the January of 2018, right? And so it was just it's something I wouldn't use it, but I'm like it's just a it's, it was a crazy. I never used it, but it's just something like that. I'm playing it on the piano, right? Um, Leslie's manager comes outside to where I'm at. He was like, "Hey, why are you not with your group?" I said, "I'll be I'll be there in a minute." He was like, "Okay." He goes back to Leslie. And the Abram, I'm looking at him in the Abram again. He was like, yo, Jermaine's not with his group. Leslie says, leave him to bleep alone. Let him work. I said, all right, cool. So I'm working. Leslie's um, main writer and one of his producers come out to me and was like, yo, what's this? What's, what's this you playing? And so he was, I told him what I, what I was playing, whatever like that. And it was like, yo, can we record this? This is hot. I like this. So now my nerves are calming down now. I said, okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. Later on that night, I'm working on a song, whatever. So but before this, the night before, I'm praying, like, God, why am I here? Because, like, there's some elite people here. It's, it's like some elite people here. Like, why am I here? He said, calm down. I got you. I got you, right? I'm in a room. I'm in a guy named Ray Angry, right? Uh, he played with the roots and all that. Uh, he got a tune. So I'm singing. I'm, I'm representing a song in my head. And I'm singing my falsetto. Stephen Greenberg walks in the room. St- Stephen Greenberg is the president of the company. Stephen Greenberg also wrote who let the dogs out? And wow. he wrote um um Hanson's um bop um bop this wow. da, da, da. Wow, He wrote wow, those two wow. songs, right? So he comes to the room. 
So he hears me singing in my falsetto, like a, 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 um, a, medley, a melody. And he was like, yo, what's that sample? What's that sample? And we like, what sample? He like, I, don't, you don't hear that? So my man was like, yo, that's him singing. He was like, wow, that's your, that's your falsetto? Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah. I, I was like, my, my, yeah, that's my falsetto. He was like, it all makes sense. And this is when it all came full circle for me. He was like, well, it makes sense. I said, what you mean? He said, it makes sense because you're from Philadelphia. Falsetto derived in, it, 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 it was like it really invented in the black church in Philadelphia. Oh, wow. Wow. So I'm a falsetto singer. That's gospel. And I'm black. So, like, oh, I'm here for real. And so we, we wrote a song called You're My Everything on, um, on the album. And from that, everybody heard that song. And everybody wanted me to do medleys on everybody's song. They wanted me to sing their song, sing it, and then like do their medley. So I learned how to do that. So I, out of that, I got on um, five songs. His song got album got like twelve songs. I, I, I wrote on five songs on that album. Number one album, number one pop album in the country this year. And um, yeah, was it? Yeah, got on it. So that was like one of my like dream collabs. And then PJ Morton hit me up this year too to be on his album. Him and his album like just off on some random type time. Like you know what I mean? It was like yo, like oh, it was a Friday morning. I'm chilling in the bed. He's like yo, what you doing? I said I ain't doing nothing. He said I need you. To go lay some um vocals down. I was gonna ask, was that during um this year, twenty twenty? Yeah, this year, yeah. Like, COVID. The album came out a month after we I, we, I did my part. Mm -hmm. So he said, "Yo, I need to go to the studio and um and lay something down real fast." I was like, "What?" He said, "I need to do, do this real fast." I said, "Book the studio session." All right, and it was crazy before this in COVID. COVID was real good to me because my song "Pull Us Through" went number one right in March. And I was getting, I was getting, I was, I'd have been booked crazy. I'd have been booked super duper crazy this year, right? But because of COVID came, it made me, it had to stop a lot of things, right? So what happened was the stuff that I kept pushing off, I had to learn. Like, um, the 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 Shelby Fives had asked me to. So okay, all right, <laughs> double back, right? Double back. I work at a radio station, right? And so you know you can't go on a radio station because it's COVID at the time. So they told me to go get a mic. I had to go buy a mic. I had to do the Erica Campbell show. I had to do like a guest. I had to be a guest on her show. I had to do a guest co-host on her show. Wow. I had to buy a mic. I had to buy a mic so I can do it at home and from my house, right? So I go to the store. They gave me three lists of mics to get, right? I picked one of the mics they told me to get. Yeah. Then I showed them the mic that I got when I got back home. They said, it's the wrong mic. I said, this is the mic that y'all told me to get. This is the mic that y'all told me to get. They then say, no, we need to go back and get a mic. So I called my fiance. I was like, yo, I'm not going to get no mic. I'm not getting a mic. She says, go get the mic, yo. Go get the mic. So we go get the mic. The mic's not at Sam Ash. We had to go order it on Amazon. Now, this is, we get the joint. Amazon Prime, they seem like in two days, right? It came the day before Amazon started taking three weeks for stuff to deliver, <laughs> right? So get the mic. We do the Eric Campbell show. And uh, now I got a mic to record in that. Now I've been slacking on recording, stop recording myself, right? So mm -hmm. what happened was Shelby Fives hit me up. I was like, yo, we need you to do this song for us. Now I never recorded myself, never recorded myself. And so Shelby Fives, like, so now I'm nervous. So I recorded myself. And I sent my boy the, the track. I was like, yo, just mix this for me. I don't know how to do it. You mix it for me. You mm -hmm. send it back, give it to Shelby Fives. It made it work. So then I was like, let me try to do something else. Since I'm in the recording mode, let me try to do some stuff, that, some ideas I had in my head. Let me go try to figure it out. Mm -hmm. I couldn't figure it out. So I sent it back to my guy. I didn't like the mix on it. Something said, go to YouTube. I'm with YouTube University in 10 minutes to find out how to do it. I knocked out 20 songs in two weeks. What? I mean, doing background vocals and like, I never knew how to do this stuff. So every song that I had in my head, I just knocked it out. It's just been knocking out all year. So that had me prepared to go in the studio for when, for when, um, for, for when PJ hit me up, I didn't have no vocal producer. I just went in there and did what I did. Cause all that, all that time, I was already training myself on how to vocal produce myself. So that's why it, it worked when PJ had hit me up. So that was another joint. The price went up when he called me. So you can't tell me nothing now. Like PJ wanted no, I mean, to hit me up. Jaleesa saying exactly what I was about to say. Baby, once you learn how to do it yourself. Yeah. 
my first um well i shouldn't say my first it was my second single but it was my first single in seven years i had literally just learned how to use garage band like two weeks before yeah, and, I record, crazy, right? and i engineered my own lead vocal on it you know what I mean? right it right 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 okay like, yo you couldn't tell i was i was hearing this i was like yo i really did this i was that people hear it they was like yo this is really good like i mean like i'm like for real you like it it was like yo this is hot dog so you can't yeah. tell me that. Now I'm going. Now I think about it. Yeah. I did all the vocals from my bedroom. It was just like, yeah. wow, like Same once here. you know how to do it, there's no going back. Same here. Same here. Same here. That's so awesome. Um, so in the very beginning of this, people were saying that um you were underrated. So you've been you've been a co-host on the Erica Campbell show. Um, mm -hmm. you said you've had six uh songs in the top twenty. Mm -hmm. Um, ten. Top Leslie Odom's you. Yeah, you you got five songs on a pop record. Yeah. Um, do you think you're underrated, or do you think you're right where you need to be? I think I'm right where I need to be, and and you know I. Before I used to think I was underrated and overlooked. I used to think that, and 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 I used to always put it on other people while I was overlooked, but it was me or why I was overlooked because. This is gospel music, right? So, first and foremost, you have an assignment to do. That's why I say assignment before accolades, right? Mm -hmm. So, before I was in my own way, because my reason for, when when I came out with you, you was you was kicking butt, taking names when it came out. It, it was independent. I'm independent. It was on everything. You know what I mean like it was killing, and I was getting. Told no, you can't sing on our road show. We're not going. We're not giving you no award. You're not doing this and that. I, oh, it used to piss me off. Mm -hmm. I was talking about. I was mad. Like, like. So you would get, get invited everybody. to churches, but not to yeah. industry events. Industry events. So industry. I'm like the industry overlooking me. So like, I'm, I'm gonna give y'all some. And God was like, Yo, this is not what I called you to do. You keep trying to change gospel music. That's not what I called you to do. That's when assignment before accolades came from. You feel me? So now. So that so now I'm in a I'm in I'm in a good space. Like this is my assignment. You know what I mean? My assignment is not right now to be in the forefront, like I to be really important. Now I've been God for all those for those platforms I've been on. You know what I'm saying? I've been God for it, you know what I mean? But you know, I know what my assignment is. You know what I mean? If people want to say I'm overrated or underrated, that's do it. I'm with that. That's y'all. You know what I mean? I, I yeah, you know what I mean? But for me, you know, I'm right where I need to be at. You know what I mean? My time going to come. I've never been a hater. You feel what I'm saying? Like, my time going to come. You know what I mean? And, and I and I watch other people like like a PJ Morton. PJ Morton just didn't get hot. PJ been dope. But he had a time. Jonathan Marinos. I got to think Jonathan Marinos has been doing this for a very long time. Jonathan been out. When you, especially for gospel artists, when you, yeah. see, when we finally hit, when we finally get our moment, We've been yeah. doing this our whole lives. No, whole there's life. not a single gospel singer that woke yeah. up at 21 and decided they wanted to sing. Yeah, I mean, so and a lot of times, lot of times and I was wrong. Some some people can break fast. You know what I mean? Like some people can really, really break fast. You know what I mean? And it depends on like 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 what music you putting out. Right, right now, the CCM Chelsea Boot worship music that's hot right now. So that's everybody is gravitating towards that. So that's so that's mm -hmm. marketable right now. So for me, it's like you know, falsetto is cool, but is it marketable? You know, what I mean, that's how that's how people was looking at it before. Like, can can we really do this? Like, like can can we put some money behind this? You know, what I mean, so that's how it will industry wise it would be overlooked. You know, because gospel music slow. You know, what I mean, so if you're not if you're not on what's making money right now, you know, what I mean, like the, your top gospel artists is Travis Green, Tasha Cobbs. You mean bottom line, and they work they work hard for that. They do what they do. Like Tasha Cobbs is the queen of gospel music. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like she's doing what she do, and and she deserves all the accolades of what she's doing. But if you're not on that type of wave, how, what they see is if you're not making that type of music, you're not going to get those type of numbers. You feel what I'm saying? Not So the, the, the creativity is really, really, like, is doused. You know what I mean? It, it's not really, really, like, like, like in the forefront like that. Like, people can be creative. And when you try to be creative, it's like, ah, uh, we can take a chance on it or not. So you really got to show and prove before people start believing in you I anyway. think at the end of the day, I feel like they, they want people that will do well in church. Yeah. They yeah, want to yeah, know they yeah, can yeah. book you for Sunday morning church. And if they can't yeah, yeah, for yeah. that, then it's like, ooh, you're only good for outdoor yeah, yeah, yeah. festivals. 
Because right, 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 very right. funk jazz R and B, and it's it's yeah. gospel lyrics, but it's like you're an out uh, festival uh, evening Saturday uh, night kind of artist. <laughs> and so and so and what I also come to find is that authenticity is what works best with your worship authenticity. So now, so I can go now I can go to any church. It don't matter where I'm at. I don't care if I'm in a CCM type of church or a Baptist down home church. I can go anywhere and just be me, and my anointing will 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 shine through through my authenticity. There's anointing in authenticity. You feel what I'm saying? Absolutely. And when, when you go in there and try to be something that you're not, you're going to go down the flames. You feel what I'm saying? So Somebody said in all the youth events and the Women's Day events, exactly. They want me on the yeah. Women's Day events. Oh, gosh. I already yeah. Got it. yeah, that's that's where they want me. But definitely not. They're not inviting me to Sunday morning divine hour. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I was there. I was there until like people start, people start hearing me talk. Yeah. I was like, oh, shoot. It was like, oh, you you got worried? Yeah, I, I think I want to be. A, I ain't choose to be a gospel artist. I ain't want to do this. I think I'm just here just to play play. Like I don't want to do this. I could have been a construction worker, or I could have been a comedian on Instagram. Hopefully, shave when we post me. I get and I start endorsing tummy tuck teeth. You wanted to be a construction that? worker? Man, I, I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do this. No, this, this, this is stressful. This is stressful, yo. This is stressful. Like the industry side of it, the industry like like it's all fun and games. You just doing gigs. It's all fun and games. You just doing gigs, right? You just out there having fun. When the industry side gets into it and and the behind the scenes stuff, like politics, it's it's, it's annoying. The politics is annoying. It be make you want to like go crazy. So yes, I didn't want to do this at all. I told you I've been fine being an Instagram comedian and hopefully shade room repost me and I can endorse tummy tuck tees and fashion over men. I'd have been fine with that. What? I'd have been fine with that. Fashion over men would have been my thing. You feel me? I would have killed fashion and the over tummy tuck, and, and, the, and the tummy, and the tummy tuck tea. tea. I'd have been in the bathroom like this. I hate it. You feel me? Yeah, I, I mean, just like that, you know? Go, but, but yeah, like, I, like again, I signed before the, Let's eight. not even talk about, especially the, for the return that you get from gospel industry. Oh, I'm independent, so God is good. I'm just saying that. I, I'm just God is good. I'm independent. God is real good. The return, the return. Whoo! I'm fine. I'll, I'll say this. So, so since you're the, being transparent, the return on investment that comes more so from gigs than the like, records. No, both. Because I'm independent. Because I, so I, get I, I get my, I get mine back. You feel what I'm saying? Now, if you sign, now if you sign with a label, God bless you. Now again, if you're not making those Tasha Cobb's numbers, you publish your music. Yeah, you publish like, yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah, publish myself. Oh yeah, what is, what is, So would you would you um advise any person to be independent and publish their? Because everybody doesn't know about publishing. Like, oh, I have to create yeah. a business that has yeah. to actually be set up in order for me to publish through that business instead of finding yeah. someone else to publish through. I don't know. You, it's, it's easy. Just get your LLC, LLC, register under BMI, ASCAP, and get your publishing. And, and, and sound scan, you know, a sound exchange, all that. It's, it's, it's important to, be, to know your business side, too. You mean, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot like sound exchange. If y'all independent artists out there, look up what sound exchange is. Sound exchange has been keeping me great through this pandemic. BMI, you get checks every quarter. You mean, but sound exchange? So find out you what sound. Question. You seem very business savvy. How did you break into industrial radio? Um. Oh, we had the shout out to my manager Jerome Hunt. Jerome Hunt. He, we just we just pop up on radio. We just pop up. We was hustling. We, we found a muscle. And when I think we found a muscle, we found a muscle. We used to pop up on radio station and demand that we get played. You used to walk. You just, like pop up. Like go to them physically. Yeah. Yeah. You say like I I had them, I used to sell hats. I, I got a tell I got these Hello Dolly hats. Saved them my money, got plane tickets, and popped up. Like, look, this what we doing on, on this what we doing on the charts. You wanna play this song or not? Some people said no. A lot of people said no. And some people said yes. But then what happened was I performed in front of Willie Mo Jr. I performed in front of him. And he got it. He got it. And so he put on his song first. He put on his show first, and then Darlene McCoy was right next door. She played on her on her station, and then I went to Stella Wars. I had to sing at this all white party. I did not want to sing at this party. I did not want to sing here. It was like I did not want to sing here. 
Because you they knew everybody was going to be talking over you. Oh, my God. I didn't want to sing that. Bunch of artists. But just what happened, that's what happened. Um, uh, 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 one of the, the head reps of Radio 1 was there. He said, I've been looking for you. Your song has been the most requested song you on our radio, on Radio 1. I've been looking for you. So now your song is going to be played all day long. And then that's how we got. You know what I mean? That's how we got on the radio. I definitely yeah. was expecting you to say that you paid a radio promoter. Yeah, my my, my, my manager. He's my my radio promoter. And he like, he had to learn. He had to learn too. He didn't know nobody. He he stayed up three months straight. He stayed up three months straight, finding out who radio who, who people in radio was. So it just worked out. I'm saying, understanding God's signature, guys. Understanding God's signature. My way is not a common way. But what, what is common is that you follow the assignment that God has on your life. When you are obedient, then doors open. Now, I can tell you my whole story is going to wow you. It's going to be like, wow, how, how does that stuff wasn't supposed to line up how it's supposed to line up. But because I am obedient to the assignment and the call of my life, then doors open. Because I serve, doors open. Because I'm obedient, Doors open. It's not because I'm not a sing. Not many people not a sing. Wow. Not people not a sing. Not people not, wow. not, people not a write a wow. song and produce. Wow. My yeah. So like uh, everything just aligns. Does it take work in serving? Yes, it does take work in serving. But you know what I mean. Like if you if you just like like my cousin said, like you trust God's plan. You're like I, it, like your my faith is strong. My faith is strong. My faith is super duper strong. Nay is a hater. Go to bed, Nay. Nay you are a hater. Like Nay yeah. is on here. Yeah, that, yeah, that, you've that, been hating that, on that, here the whole that, time. That's my, that's my fiance. That's my fiance. That's that's my fiance. She, that's my fiance. Oh, that's your fiance. Hi, fiance. Yeah, that's my fiance. Yeah, she's a hater. She's a super duper hater. That's what she is. She's a hater. That's so funny. Like, like she gonna be she gonna be mad when she's a first lady. She gonna be so mad when she's a first lady. She's gonna be one of those. She gonna be so mad. She gotta go get up in church in the morning and wear her big old hat and stockings. She gonna be so mad. I'll make her wear stockings because you're not you're not lady like if you're not wearing stockings in church. I'll make her wear the hottest stockings in the summertime. Like I'm playing, I'm playing, but but I'm a I'm a deaf I'm a deaf make her wear these wool stockings in the summertime. We're gonna go to these hot churches. She gotta wear stockings and and hats and big old pads and all that. I can't wait. And I'm not and she's not gonna have no like no 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 waist trainer on or nothing. I'm, you can't play no waist trainer because waist trainers are of the devil. I'm making sure you so you won't be hating on here. I'm telling you, yeah yeah, you will be a first lady. Yes, you're gonna be a first lady. I, I don't want to be no first lady. I don't want to be no preacher. I don't want to be no pastor. So I can't <laughs> not, tell. No, nah, I won't be no pastor. I just want to talk like this. If I if I can preach like this, I'm cool. Yeah. Let me preach like this. I'm fine with this. But going in front of people and all that, like want to talk, and like get turn your Bibles and nah, I don't feel like all that. Cause I'm telling, I'm, I'm gonna be long with it. I'm telling you, I'm gonna be long with it. I'm gonna be one of the preachers that go up there. I'm gonna sing first. Like put me in a flat, please. Put me in a flat. Oh my god. I'm deaf singing first. And then people are gonna think, surely he's gonna shut his, he's gonna cut his message short because he just sang for fifteen minutes. I'm not. Oh I'm no, not. I have another hour and a half left. I have another hour. I'm telling you, I'm singing. I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing, and I'm going to do a word. You know what I mean? And they you gonna be, and they gonna be handing, and they gonna be laying hands on people. She don't know it yet. She's anointed. She just acting like she's a devil now. She's super anointed. That's all. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> that's beautiful. I forgot what we were saying, and then I just got sidetracked. Oh yeah, follow, it's serving, 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 open doors. If you serve, you want, your doors will be open. Follow oh, that was it. it. My yeah. my jaw dropped when you said that he basically figured out the industry that took him three months, and he figured out who all the program directors were yeah. and all of that, and basically yeah. harassed them. Yeah, that, we, that we manager, both did. You know, that takes dedication. That take that's a manager who really believes in you, which is very hard to find. The Lord really blessed you with with that person, whoever that is. Yeah. That person really yeah, believes in you, and Jerome, Jerome I'm sure Mark. it's paying off for them too at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Jerome, I go tell his business, but now nah, he he lit. Jerome is lit right now. Man. He's super lit. I go tell his business, but he, he got he's sitting on acres. I'm gonna say that my man's sitting on acres. Okay, That's lit. a blessing. That's a blessing. Yeah. I'm so happy for you. I am so Thank happy you. for you. This, you know. I never know what to expect because I don't talk to you guys before I come on here. And I try not to because I want to learn right. about you 
in front of people. I want right. the um, conversation to be authentic. And I could not have imagined that you would have been so grounded and there would have been so much depth that you were just so willing to share. So yeah, word up. I told you, I told you, I like stuff like this. I get to talk. I like stuff like this. I'm a talker. I mean, oh, uh, uh, plus, a uh, whole uh, eight. Okay, can't do a shameless plug. Goya Beans, y'all. I'm, I'm sponsored by Goya Beans. Are you for real? By... No, this is right here. I just want to do it. It's uh, to to toy it. <laughs> oh my god! So, do give us some plugs. Plug some stuff that you're doing. Uh, you know what? Um, I wanted to ask you one last question. The yeah. last question is: Where do you see yourself in ten years? Um, an established an established writer producer um i i'm talking about like i'll probably have about i got two more albums in me for real what, I got two more what kind of artists do you want to work with everybody i work i work, I work with everybody you know what i mean just is it, i work with everybody okay so go ahead and, go ahead and plug um so yeah so um Writing songs right now, currently writing songs. Got a couple um features coming up. People want me to be featured on. Um, can't really say right now, but hold on one second, Jalisa. I did believe him because the fact that he had it right there, I was like, he's been waiting this whole time to talk about Goya. Nah, it's just right here. It's just right here. Now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but um, yeah, I got a couple uh, couple uh, uh, features. I got X X to be on. Um, the Couple joints, it's, it's gonna be really dope. Um, working on some music on my own music. I'm also still writing for next year, um, just like you know, just for uh, submissions and all that for placements and stuff like that. Um, uh, that's basically it's working on music, you know what I mean? I'm getting married next year. That's really what's going on. That's, that's really amazing. Congratulations, that's, really, that's, that's, that's really about to go down, you know what I mean? Like, you mean it's, it's gonna be legal sex. Can't wait for that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's gonna be lit. Like, you know, that's it's gonna be worship in the bedroom. I cannot wait. You feel what I'm saying? God honors that. I cannot wait. You feel what I'm saying? And I do no more. I do more than you know. A amen, somebody. Amen. So yeah. So we get married next year. So that's really that's really what next year really really gonna be about for real. Um, more so married. I ain't really taking too many gigs. Like I am gonna take gigs, but. Not around the wedding time. It's, it's going down. I don't. Actually, I'll tell you right now. You need time. You got gigs, like no, I need you got, time. You got gigs. If you got gigs in in between, like after April, like, from April to like August, leave me alone. Don't say nothing to me. I'm not coming. I'm not coming to your gigs. I'm traveling, having a lot of sex. I'm not doing nothing. Like leave me alone. We're going. I'm going. We're going to church. We are having sex, and that's that. Like we're, not, we're going. We're going to love each other. That's that. I'm not doing nothing. Like no. And I, and I think I think as Christians we need to talk like this. People have to talk like this. They have to talk like this. So that's uh, we didn't grow up like this. They they scared you from church. Like they scared you from sex. Like they scared you from it. Like don't have sex. You gonna have sex to get married? No. Okay. Well, I'm about to get married now. So yes, it's gonna be a lot of sex going down. And it's going. I'm gonna talk about it. Nay, we talking about it on the gram. We're going to we're going to do a podcast called Sexy. They're doing all that. It's it's going down. It's going down. It's going down. What? <laughs> okay. So that, that's, that's, that's what's going on with me next year. That's it. Sex and writing music. That's it. It is what it is. It is what it is. I hope you enjoy. Y'all. Thank you. I hope Thank she you. enjoys. Oh, she should be fine. She should be fine. She will be fine. She will be fine. She will be fine. She will be fine. And I'm sure you guys will come back and give us a review of how it's going. Oh, Shandy, I love oh, Shandy, yeah? Yeah? Oh, my God. Your your fiance said hang up. That's what she get. That's exactly what she get for talking crazy all day. That's exactly what you get. She's been talking yeah. crazy this whole all time. Day. That's what she get. We talk yep. about you, sis. You gonna yeah, be laid uh-huh. out? Yep. Laid out. Word. Yo, thank you for this opportunity. Word up. All jokes aside, thank you for this opportunity, man. I, I greatly appreciate this opportunity. Word up. This is dope. This is super dope. I love your platform. I opportunity to get to know you. I yeah, really I love your appreciate platform, it. Yo. Hopefully, up. hopefully this isn't our last time. Word up. I would love to um, keep in touch. I think you're you're a wonderful person just to know. 
Yeah, let's do it. I'm with that. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Well, God bless. God you bless you. Have a good one, y'all. Bye. <laughs> so funny. All right, you guys. Um. <laughs>